Hi, this is Jaya. Today I am going to tell you a story. In a place, there was a family. They were poor. They were father, mother, two sons and two daughters. One day, the father died and the mother fell sick. Now, the full responsibility fell on the eldest son. He was only 12 years old then. And he knew that he had to do some work to shoulder the responsibilities of his family. So he went to the company where his father worked and he requested them to give him a job. But the manager, though he was moved by his condition, he understood the family situation. He was not able to give him a job because it will come under child labor. And another thing is this boy had not finished uh, even uh, schooling which is the rule of the company. They should have at least school education. So the manager told him, I'll try and help you. You finish your school and come, I'll definitely give you a job. This is a promise. So the boy came out. He was very sad. His eyes were filled with tears. He did not know what to do because he knew that he had to do some work to provide food for his family. He had some money with him uh, which his mother had given uh, so that uh, he can uh, travel and also have his lunch. So he thought he will purchase something to eat. He went to a nearby marketplace. And when he entered there he saw nice fresh vegetables. An idea came in his mind. So he went uh, where they were selling tomatoes. With mo what money he had he purchased tomatoes and he asked the salesman to pack it in small small packets and give it to him. He took those uh, packets, he approached the nearby houses, he spoke very politely and he uh, asked them to purchase the tomatoes from him. The price was only little more than what was in the marketplace. Many started buying from him because the way he approached them and the tomatoes which he had were really fresh and go in good condition and it also saved them the time of going to the marketplace. Some even told him, we want this vegetable, can you buy income and all that. He agreed, he took the money from them. And also he had made some profit. He came back. What they asked, those vegetables and fruits he brought. And what money he had, he brought some extra vegetables. Approached some more people. Many asked him to come every day. They even gave him the list of vegetables which they needed. Some gave him even token advance and all that. Because they trusted him. That was uh, because of the way he spoke, the way he behaved. And uh, his young age also impressed them. And by the time uh, it was evening, uh, he had made 10 times more money than what he had and he also had a very good lunch. He also brought some uh, food packets for his family. He went home. He was very happy. He told his mother what happened. And uh, next day he did the same thing. He went early in the morning till evening he was doing this work. Door delivery became his uh, way of doing business. And slowly, slowly, slowly his business started expanding. He went to the extent of... Uh, Finding out from where these uh, market people purchased uh, vegetables. So he went directly to the farmer, started purchasing. He started employing uh, many others like him uh, who were in uh, need of a job. And uh, door delivery was his uh, way of doing business. And uh, years rolled by, his uh, brother and his sisters, they got educated, his family was well settled. And it came to an extent that he became one of the richest man in the country. And all newspapers, every media, everyone came and started interviewing him. And when one person asked him, your strategy of doing business is really good. Where you got educated? For that he said, no, I was not, I did not complete even my schooling. I had to be a school dropout because of my family situation. And everyone was surprised and they said, wow, just imagine without education you have come to this extent what you would have been if you were educated and he said yes i know if i was educated i would have been an office boy the story ends there and what we have to learn from this is we should not get discouraged when some mishappening happens in the life if you are talented and if you have the potential definitely success will come to you so don't wait for opportunity create opportunity and be successful in life i hope you like the story uh, please uh, post your comments and subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed. Thank you.